Hey guys, welcome uh, to Nearly Build uh, production line. And uh, we are very proud to announce and showing you the first Top RC, Gator RC Nearly Build P47 that arrived and it's right here in the box. And that's the first one in the United States. We're gonna start building it up pretty soon. And uh, we're gonna use most likely a ZDZ inline 112 engine on it as the production will be right here in the Nearly Build shop. So let's open up and see how it's packed. It's Amazing how quality and how strong is the shipping all the way from China. And then there it out it goes. So the first thing we can take out is the checkerboard cowling, which is a uh, old fiberglass and look like it's painted very quality. And then right inside it was part of the canopy, which is gonna be on the fuselage eventually. And then here is uh, the cowling frame that will be attached to the fuselage. We, we're gonna find it as we go away and start building the airplane, how it goes. And then it's amazing how the thing is, uh, it's totally loaded really nice. So you can see very enforced. So will be no shipping damage to coming up all the way from the factory and top RC. And then slowly, slowly we'll take it out. So it look like the first I can take out will be the right wing. And as you see, it's all wrapped really nice and we slide it out very nice and gently. And here's the right wing. And we can see it's a beautiful, beautiful paint skin on it. And an inside and out. Just kind of looking on the quality, we can see it's built really nice with the Air Max inside and reinforced with all the carbon fiber cloths. Um, apparently we need to uh, glue all the hinges, which is part of the labor for building the airplanes. All the servo control areas, it's already built and, and glued, so they need to take them out, install the servo around the extension. Um, you can see there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of nice really details on it. We can see like a lot of panels, lines, rivets, and the paint control is, is, is beautiful. Here's another piece we need to get out. Here's the flap. I guess we can take it out of the box as well. They packed them really nice, take a time to take it out. But we can see again, it's like, it's, it's actually beautiful how it looks. All ready to be glued already cut up, we just have to do some cleaning as we're gluing it. And then, wings is beautiful. It's big. It's a big airplane, it's 97 inch wingspan and designed for about 80 to 100 cc engine. So we need to take some more stuff out before we can take it out. Here's some wing too, but more stuff inside. There's no really reason to open them up. Um, that goes usually for the elevators second wing tube and then I wonder if I can actually slide it all the way out they made it nice and tight but if I'll be careful that's really tight so here's the fuselage and I'll move the wing and slowly Take this one out, put it back in the box. So here's the fuselage. We'll come up like that from the factory. We'll move the wings out of the way. This is the left wing. I absolutely love, I love the way that the pack them. It's, a, it's nice and safe. I need a second. <laughs> I don't want to make any dent, so we slide this wing out of the place. And there's no reason to open that wing. And then we start moving around all the, the foam that's really enforcing the airplane. It sure looks like they're using all the foamers from the 3D printers up in the factory because it's all fit perfect like another foamer from the outside. Got a 
to be careful not to make some damage because they really worked really hard up in the factory in Topper Sea to protect it from damage as it's being shipped worldwide. So, wow, I'm getting more and more impressed. So here's the fuselage. And you can say it's all painted beautiful. And then the cockpit is already inside. Wow, that is impressive. And then you can look inside, it's all, all made out of really beautiful fiberglass over here. All the wood, everything is good, really nice. And then uh, just for the curiosity, I have to do it. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see the tail. Check out the tail wheel. All right. Had, so they, had they set that up. We can see the, the landing gear is not installed yet. I'll show you the electric landing gear in a second, but you can see the landing gear doors. They're already glued, hinges are glued. So the only thing we need to do is like go on the former, reinstall the tail wheel and, and it's all electric. So I'll show you guys all the, the landing gear in a second. And what's this material made out of? That's all fiber, that's fiberglass. Okay. And plywood and this carbon fiber cloth inside to reinforce where we need to reinforce it. And then, here is one of the elevator stubs. Which look gorgeous. Cut already for the control horn. Well, as a builder, we're gonna find out where the servo is going, but I know everybody wants to look how it looks. So here's the tail. Actually, I'll be better than that. We're gonna go find out all the wing tubes. So we can put half of the airplane together and see how it looks. I'm getting excited. I'm impressed by this paint. Yeah, the paint job is looking like perfect. So here is one of the elevators on. And sure enough, I know everybody's waiting. So if I'm going, I'll keep going. Let's put the pin, let's put the wing on. You can see the wing tube. And we'll bring the wing out. Here's the left wing. And look how nice it's starting in. It's the first time I'm out of the box and it just slides in. Can't boy any nicer than that. Man, that is big. It's a, it's a pretty nice size of an airplane. I can't wait to go put it together. So what else can we show? What else do we have? Grab the cockpit window and put it on top. The canopy? Yeah, the canopy. All right, here's the canopy. Here is the canopy. It's going to come up here. Nice. And sure enough, we can uh, do the right side a little bit of stuff. More and more looking, there's more and more detail I find on it. It's, it's really impressive. You can really, and of course, we'll have to put the second wing. You can really see the panel lines in the sun. You can see the panels now? Yeah, it looks really good. I have to guys, I'm so excited with this bird and I really love those wool birds. So I gotta put the other wing on. Kind of a 
hard to do by myself, but be careful with the canopy. Put it out of the way. And then it's a pretty bird. We put the cowling back on it. And that's a really pretty bird. Let's see what else coming with it. Very important. What's in the white box? The most important thing for today. Unbelievable P47. Oh wow. Does electric it, landing gear. Does it come with the gear, the kit? The kit come with the gear. That looks like some serious gear. Yep, you can see like the tail wheel, all mounted. Just have to put a couple bolts to put it in there. And there's an electric motor on the tail wheel, so we're working like the main wheels. Here's the main wheels. They look beefy. They really look very nice. Electric. And then here's the central controller that including the gear and the doors. I can't wait to go and start building this bird. I'm really impressed by it. I can't wait for mine to come. This one belongs to Gator RC and there's few more coming, gonna be here in July. Feel free to call and contact us anytime you want, near nearly built, or Ashley Gator RC and we get it going. Take care. <laughs>